A fantastic Friday night here in the heart of the Commonwealth as the Worcester Red Sox look to bounce back from a loss last night and capture game four of this six game series against the Toledo Mudheads. Glad to have you with us, everybody. With J.P. Ricciardi, I'm Jim Kane. Laura Snickles will join us in a moment. And these are very exciting times for the Woo Sox. J.P., they're playing very well in the middle of a playoff push right now. Big names coming up from AA lately. And we'll see another new name tonight make his AAA debut. And that is Hunter Dobbins. And to say that this team is hot would be an understatement mm. right now, Mr. Antonellis. They've won 8 of 9, 13 of 16. They are firing on all cylinders. So far, so good for the big three here in Worcester JP but how about Roman Anthony from the leadoff spot last night he goes three for four in his triple-a debut if he was nervous he certainly didn't play like it the payoff pitch Rozier slaps it into left field a base hit Westbrook scores held at third is McDonough it's a one-run game and the top prospect in all of baseball is coming to bat with the bases loaded 1-0, Dahlbeck lines it by the dive of Kingery and into left field. In comes my drop and the Woo Sox take the lead. Drills this one towards left center field. Valera's back, Valera onto the track, that ball's gone! Jamie Westbrook whacks one out of here, a two-run shot to put the Woo Sox back on top, six to four. Dahl back with a fly ball towards right center field. McKenna on his horse into the alley and it's off the wall. Two runs are in, here comes Teal. Bobby D thinking three and he's in there standing. A base is clearing, triple for Bob and a 10-7 Woo Sox lead. How fitting would it be if the man with the most walks of minor league baseball works a walk off walk. They got Inside it. ball four, Mr. Ball four walks it off. And the Woo Sox victorious in their home finale at Boulder Park. So free baseball at Fenway. Rolled on the ground right side. Diving stop by Grissom. He spins and fires to first in time. Nice play. Runners at first, second, and third. And Tana strikes out swinging. Sugar climbs the ladder and blows them away with 97 to strand the bases loaded. University Dental Group is now the official dental practice of the Worcester Red Sox. Patients of all ages are welcome to experience comfortable and stress-free dentistry. Learn more by visiting universitydentalgroup.com. Our thanks again to Jody Carolinas and Justin Roberts of Country Bank for joining us in the top of the second. Kyle Teal sent to lead things off for the Woo Sox. His second AAA game. He was hitless last night as the Woo Sox catcher, but he caught a terrific game. So Chad Tracy, chatting with him pregame, pointed out just everything that these guys had to go through yesterday, but especially Kyle Teal, catching a guy like Shane Drowen for the first time, getting used to the pitch com and plugging in the pitches on that device on his knee, the challenge system. He got the challenge system down pretty good. He was three for three last night. And the other thing is he caught four guys he's never caught before. At least Drohan, you could warm him up in the game, you know, but then the other guys come out of the pens. First time you've seen him, first time you ever, you know, had any kind of interaction with him. I thought he did an amazing job. And the more you watch him play, you're going to really, really fall in love with his athleticism. He said after the game he wished he used a few more challenges. Said he thought he was a little conservative, but definitely a fan of calling for challenges behind the plate. <laughs> there was one yesterday, I don't know if you picked it up or not, but Ramirez wanted to challenge it, and he was shaking his head. Yeah. No, no, no. That was a pretty good swing right there. Grew up in New Jersey. His dad is here. Mom is coming up this weekend. Wonderful moment in this 22 year old's life. The 2 2 outside, and Teal works at full. First team All American, 2023 ACC Player of the Year, Buster Posey Award winner for the best collegiate catcher. 
last year and what a rise it was for him last year after getting drafted 14th overall out of Virginia he played three games of rookie ball 14 at high A Greenville then promoted to double A all in the span of two months and then this year at double A 84 games and 298 11 homers payoff pitch is down and in for ball four and Kyle Teal is aboard for the first time in his triple A career yeah excellent at bat You know, when I see Teal play, I'm, I'm amazed that he was 14th in the country. Yeah, really not a pitch you're gonna even going to offer at right there, but good at bat. He's going to get comfortable here in AAA. Bobby Dahlbeck. Dahlbeck playing right field here tonight. Had some outstanding at bats last night. Had a single and two walks. Even stole a base. 15 home runs. And a couple last week in Syracuse. A strike poured in at 95 from Abel. You're right. That ball just jumps out of his hand. Jumps out of his hand real easy. I'm not saying that Teal's going to run here, but you're going to find that he runs pretty good for a catcher. Don't be surprised if some, you know, he has a career where he steals eight or ten bags in a year. At nine at double A. Dahlbeck takes ball one. Yeah, Abel's got elite stuff. You can see it right away. The ball, the fastball has all kinds of life. He's got really good breaking ball. Excellent delivery. I, I really love the extension. Brings home the one two and Dahlbeck strikes out swinging. High heat at 97 for the first out. Now you watch this ball is just running up and it's it stays on the same plane with great extension. I know I keep saying extension but the extension is what gives it the movement and he does it easy. So for the people watching this who don't know what extension is, what is it? That's a good question. Okay, so extension basically is, is it's real simple. The more a pitcher can get his hand out front and get his arm out front, the more extension he's going to get have on the ball, the more he's going to be able to let the ball ride off his fingertips, the ball, more the ball is going to run. And if you really want to see excellent, excellent extension, watch Logan Gilbert the next time he pitches in Seattle. He's got some of the best extension and, and what the extension does not only give you movement, but it also gets you closer to the hitter. In the dirt one and one on Alvarez. Jacob de excellent extension. You know the, there's, there's some guys that just have elite extension if you watch him here watch where his arm gets out. Boom. Yeah, see how easy he does it. By the way, someone got to fix these uniforms. I don't, the, the pants are one color, the tops are. The big leagues are the worst. You watch these guys, they start sweating. Looks like they got two different uniforms. Hasn't been great. That's oh, terrible. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two on Alvarez. And that's a good breaking ball with depth right there. All his stuff is power right now. You're going to be curious to see, you know, if he adds that, that off speed pitch to, to get everything off. Like I said, fastball's hard, breaking ball's hard. He needs something a little soft and a little bit that can dead. And I think once he gets that, this kid a little bit more control, this kid's going to take off. Now Alvarez hits it through the left side for a base hit. Teal to second on the first hit of the night for the Wu Sox off Mick Abel. Yeah, he just gets a breaking ball that stays up. He spanks it into left field. Good hit back. Yeah, breaking ball that just doesn't get down to the zone. It's a curveball just saying hit me. So back to the extension here yep. on Abel. So he's 6'5, 190. Does the fact that he's 6'5, a little bit of a bigger frame, does that help or does height not matter when it comes it to It really extension? doesn't matter. Some guys, because they use their lower half to drive off the mound, get better extension than, and it doesn't matter what size you, you are. So it really comes down to how you deliver the baseball. You know, if you think of Jacob DeGrom, that's that's a guy with excellent extension. He's a big guy. He really uses his legs and almost catapults himself off the mound. This kid does the same thing. 
I mean, you could be a 6'5". Like Nolan Ryan was a big guy, but he didn't have unbelievable extension. You know, he had great hip turn, and he was just blessed with an unbelievable fastball. Randy Johnson had good extension, big guy, but he got over it. Some of the big guys struggle because they're too big, and they, they're just not athletic enough to get that extension. So a lot of it comes down to how you can manipulate your body and how you're hypermobile. Fouled off by Heineman, and it's nothing and two. And the other part of that, too, is he's, when you're releasing it, it's a lot closer to right the plate. There. Look where he is. He's, he's went from 60 feet, 6 inches. He just closed about 4 feet right there. So he's delivering the ball probably at 56 feet. That's 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 all you want. Six foot five guy on top of you. <laughs> oh two pitch in the dirt. So that 97 98 to the hitter probably looks like 108. <clears throat> well not only that but then you have to think about it. If these guys can get extension with their hand out front and let the ball ride off their fingers that ball is going to run up in the zone. So not only is it 95 97 now it's coming up on you. You got no shot. You, 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 the best thing to say, anything up in the zone, I'm going to stay off it because I'm not going to catch up to this stuff. Heinemann grounds it foul. 33-year-old veteran catching Richard Fitz for the 11th time this season. Battling here against the young Mick Abel. A lot of catchers now in this Who Sox roster. With Reese McGuire, Kyle Teal, Mark Colesbury is active, Tyler Heineman, of course. Chad Tracy certainly do not envy his job no. with all the guys here right now. Trying to put together a lineup day in and day out. Yeah, he, he's done a really good job getting guys at bats and playing time. And that pitch right there, he just yanked it. That was too much extension. There's the skipper. It's been a heck of a couple of days for him. Yeah. We asked him pregame how yesterday went. He said it was great. <laughs> Abel's 2 2. Down and in. And so from nothing in two, Heinemann's worked at full. Triple A. Managing in AAA is the hardest job in the minor leagues. It's, you're, ju you're juggling so much. You're juggling young. Perfect example is right here. You got a, a veteran guy at the plate. You got young players. You know, it's a different message for each one of those guys. Heineman lifts it into left center field. Coming on is Clemens. And he makes the catch for round number two. You know, just you look at Roman Anthony, you look at Teal, you look at May, you look at Cassis. My uh, nice pitch right there. Just, just too much fastball right there. And you know those are young guys on their way up. And there's one message for them. And then you've got the Alvarezes, and you've got, you know, the the Maguires, and you've got the guys that have touched the big leagues. And you know it's a different message for them. It, it really takes a guy with a great personality and a great touch and feel. And Tracy does, uh, he does an amazing job down here. Red Sox very lucky to have Chad Tracy managing their triple-a affiliate Mark Contreras cuts and misses at high heat that ball just took off Contreras looking to get back on track average at 201 checking into tonight 29 year old from Moreno Valley California buying it away from Abel one and one and this is the thing that Abel's going to have to get corralled a little bit. You know, it's a lot of pitches to, to get through two innings here. He's got to learn to just minimize his his amount of pitches he throws, and he will. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Not going to catch up to that. You got to let that ball get down. To your point about the command. 60 walks and 18 starts for Abel coming into tonight. Okay, and that's a that's a great point, right? And and most people would statistically look at him, and we'll finish this next inning. But that was a uh, good morning, good night, good afternoon. See you later. Strikes out Contreras and Strands too to keep this game scoreless through two.